What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Ferris Pyramid Cycle 2, Week 1, Days 1 through 2. So I think that's the best way to go ahead and name uh, what I'm doing here with Greg, since this is going to be another rendition of his 8 week program. He's made a few tweaks and stuff pertaining to um, some of the days, not all of them, but as I'm going through the weeks I guess I will figure out what has changed and what has stayed the same. For the most part, day one has stayed the same from where it was in cycle one or the first time that I did it, being that you start out with four sets of eight reps on bench. So this is me hitting four sets at 175 pounds for eight reps. And this was actually a lot more taxing than I thought it would be. Uh, than I thought it would be. Um, I looked at it on paper and I saw 175, so I didn't really think it was gonna be too difficult for me, but um, weeks weeks five to eight on the this eight week program, you taper back your volume quite a bit. So my endurance has not been where it ha where it should be, or I, I guess it's where it should be, but it's a little bit of a learning curve going just from you know doing maybe one or two working sets back to four working sets and higher reps um, along with that. So went into those horizontal rows with the, uh, the bench, Brandon Campbell style. Um, digging that, um, what a, I guess exercise if you want to call that. Digging that exercise. Um, doing some bicep curls here. Didn't film the whole, well I filmed the whole thing, I didn't put the whole clip in this, in this video. And uh, so, just to piggyback off what I said earlier with the volume and my body not being used to it, yesterday was day two, um, which is squats and deadlifts, and my legs are sore as hell today. Another thing that I'll add is I also went in, did the squats and the deadlifts beltless. Uh, I, I want some more core development work and I think the best way to do that, um, honestly, is just to squat without a belt and deadlift without a belt. Uh, within reason, uh, once the weight becomes something pretty taxing, something around like 90, maybe even 85% of my one rep max, I will go ahead and put a belt on just for safe, safety precautions. But yeah, squatting without the belt, when I, leading up until I squatted 315 pounds, I've never used a belt before. So my body was quite used to squatting without a belt. And I never felt what people said when you work on like core development. I never felt anything in my core or anything, you know, remotely close to it training my core. But the past few months I've been training with the belt and then actually doing working sets for high number of reps, you know, four sets, so not crazy amount of sets, but I mean enough sets to where you'll definitely feel it. I definitely felt it in my uh, my abdominals, uh, just bracing, and if you're not braced, you're not going to have a good time coming out of the hole. And you can see that's pretty evident with um, some, of the, some of the later reps. And uh, this is the last set, and this was by far, it felt a lot worse than it looked. Honestly, it doesn't look amazing, but it, the first three reps, I looked like I just, I'm just casually doing. And then my form starts to break down quite a bit more. And I can tell you by the sixth rep, I was going to call it, but... Greg, uh, Greg put in that I was to do seven reps, and you know when you're right at the that brink of six six reps, and you only have one more to go. I mean, you you might as well hit it if it's your last set. So that's what I went ahead and did. I'm like, if I fail, I fail. Whatever. I'd rather say that I tried and failed rather than say I left something on the table. And then moving on, I did some sumo deadlifting. This is 374 set of four. This felt really easy 
actually um, extremely easy for being beltless and I know it's only 370 pounds but um, that's what the spreadsheet called for and it felt awesome so hope you guys liked the video comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next training video cheers guys